Hello, Internet. It's been a while. It, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. So where have I been, you might ask? Well, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but the world's kind of burning. And because of this, I've had to stay quiet because I can only talk when my creator's family is gone. And they've been home a lot. So needless to say, I am super pumped up to be talking again. So what's on the menu today, Mama Blurfy? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yes, I've been cooking up a little something something for you all for a while now, and I'm super excited to be sharing it with you guys again. Again? Where have I been? So clearly I'm a little bit rusty with this YouTube thing, but that can't stop me from being excited. Now, today's video is, like I've said, something I've been working on for a long time. I decided to do a draw this in your style challenge. Blurfy, what is that? It's a challenge where you draw something in someone else's style. I thought that was pretty self-explanatory, but I've had to explain it to a lot of people since I started this. For the record, I love you all, just it's self-explanatory. Now, without further ado, let's get to the drawing. Now. What would a draw this in your style challenge be if I didn't make my own? So, I made my own. <laughs> I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I've seen a lot of people do, and I decided to make a scene instead of a character. There's a lot of characters for draw this in your style for some reason, and it's just something I've kind of noticed. I don't know, I just think drawing scenes is a lot more interesting than just drawing a character. Like, I know just simply drawing a character gives a lot of free range and a lot of creativity, but it's really interesting to me to see what other people's interpretations of a scene is. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's just my opinion. For mine, I didn't want my scene to be too incredibly hard to draw. Like, I didn't want to do, like, too detailed of background, which I can't do those anyway, but you know. But I still wanted it to be something that people could challenge themselves for, so I did a pose that's personally a little bit challenging for me. Like, you clearly saw that I was struggling a little bit with it. I also decided to do some lighting effects for mine, which is also pretty difficult for some people, but I really want people to push themselves and do this. So, I, I don't really know why I decided to do uh, an Oni girl, but something about it is just really interesting to me like i i really like onis in japanese mythology and i just wanted to do an emotional piece and i feel like if an oni girl was brought into this world she would just be ridiculed so often and that's why i decided to make her crying i decided to title this piece oni tears for that reason if you want to do this, draw this in your style, please put the hashtag BlurfyDTIYS for this so I can find it or tag me in it, whatever. And I'll check it out. I can't wait to see what you guys do. And if you're still watching, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like what you're seeing right now. I, I hope to do a lot more videos like this and hopefully diverge a little bit onto some other kinds of topics, maybe like away from art. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But we'll see. It'll always be anime related, so if that's something you're into, please hit that red button. Thank you. Oh, and hit the bell too if you really like this. <laughs> now without further ado, let's get to the actual challenge. This is a note for editing Blurfy that I forgot to say that I lost some of the recording because I forgot to hit the record button. That is how professional I am. Now I was gonna do three challenges for this but I just kind of realized that the computer just doesn't have enough space for that. People don't seem to realize that recording your drawing process takes up a, a lot of disk space and it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. So if you ever plan on doing a hobby like this or a job for that matter just keep that in mind. Just make sure you have a lot of space on your disk. I said disk properly. Disk disc disc i'm getting sidetracked sorry about that now as i was going to say i was going to do three of these but i ended up doing two of them instead because of my disc space and um so i was going to do one for twitter one for deviantr and one for instagram but i decided to just go with twitter and instagram for this because one disc space of course and two, there really wasn't a whole lot on DeviantArt. I've noticed for some reason there just wasn't a lot of original Draw This In Your Style challenges. 
there was just a lot of challenges from other websites, and I just thought, well, there's really no point in me doing one for DeviantArt anyway. So, we're gonna do two instead. So we're gonna start with the Instagram challenge. I found this picture from Free Minds Art. I will put the link in the description. And I just, I absolutely love this piece the first time I saw it. Just, the anime girl, the foxes, it's just perfect. I absolutely love it. So I, I had to do it. I just had to do it. Fox girls and foxes just warm my heart for obvious reasons. Now, as much as I love this piece, there's a lot of details, and I mean a lot of details. Uh, there's a lot going on, and <laughs> I decided to draw the background too, which I hate myself for. But you know, I, I, I made it. I made it out alive. I'm here still. <laughs> I, it wasn't that bad, I guess, but it was bad. And again, for as much as I love this piece, I, I'm really bad at drawing animals, and this was probably the first time I've actually ever drawn an animal. I've only been alive since October 14th, 2019. Give me a break. Anime girls have a lot of time on their hands, but I don't have that much. Okay, I do. I just I just want to draw cute girls and hot guys, okay? Animals aren't really on my list of things that I really want to draw. As cute as they are, they're not fun to draw. So because I don't really enjoy drawing animals very much, I kept going back in and like deciding whether I want to add more foxes. Like originally I wasn't going to draw all of them, but I just kept adding more and I thought well, maybe I can do this but I don't want to but maybe I can do it and I ended up doing it anyway and to be honest I'm proud that I did I'm proud that I did that because it looks a lot better now than it did before in my opinion it, it's cute I really like it I mean I have my own critiques about my drawing but I do like that I put the foxes in there and I'm proud of myself for that now when I got to the shading I was trying to get as close to the actual drawing as possible but of course I had to diverge a little bit because you know it's my own style for one and two I drew it slightly different I tried using it as a reference as best as I could without copying too much which I probably copied quite a bit I'll admit that not like I did a whole lot better with the next one speaking of which let's get on to that one now I'm sure a lot of you guys have been seeing this one around if you've been around the anime art community whatsoever. And this is the classic anime goth angel or goth anime angel. I can't remember. Gothic anime angel. That's what it was. That's what the creator herself said it was. So I'm going to stick with that. Now, the interesting thing about it is that I don't think she intended for this to be a draw this in your style challenge. Because when I went to her Twitter, which is suzuhirohiro666 on Twitter. I will put the link in the description. When I went to her Twitter and I found this picture, it didn't seem like she knew people were doing this un until people started tagging her in tweets about it. And she took it very well. She actually seemed like she really liked that this was happening and she even redrew it herself. The original was from the early 2000s, so of course her style had evolved and changed. Now to get on to my interpretation of it, this was pretty hard, but it was pretty fun. Like, I, there's a lot of details, and I know that was the, my problem with the last one, but the details on this one actually made it pretty fun for some reason. I think it's just because this is more character-focused, and it was just really fun to do, and it was really cool to see how different our styles are. Like, I understand that a lot of anime styles are very similar to many people, but when you look closely, there's a lot of differences. There's the face... There's the hair, there's even how the body is interpreted in anime styles. Like, for example, I don't know whether this is just my anatomy problems coming in, or if it's just part of my style. Please tell me which it is. But the torsos in our drawings have very different lengths. You'll notice that very easily if you look at the shirt. That's probably the easiest way to notice it. And, you know, even my hands, even my hands look very different to hers. And I just, I find that really cool. So thank you, Suzuhira Hiro, for drawing this beautiful piece back in the early 2000s and for letting us redraw it. It was super fun. Arigatou gozaimashita. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And... I would really appreciate it if you checked out my other videos. They're not as good as this one, I don't think, but you might like them. Thank you guys. See you next time.